Hello everybody, it's Sherry Bay inside Your Way Studio. I'm getting ready to do a private group party or class, workshop, whatever you want to call it. And I'm prepping my board that I'll do for demo with the vinyl. We're doing a reverse stencil class. Um, so I thought, you know what? I'll take a video of how I apply vinyl to a surface. And I thought, for any of you out there who have crickets, or if you purchase wall vinyl, this is a great tip or trick to be able to put the vinyl on your wall, but it also works for signs too. So if you can, can you see it down here? The, for this, we're actually putting the vinyl directly onto a wood board. We end up painting it in the class and then we peel out the letters. But this method that we use to apply that I show in the class, it's called a hinge method. And you put your vinyl that has the application tape on it, on your surface. So you can do this on a wall, you can do this on a board if you're making a sign, but this is how I do it. I, about center of the board, it really doesn't matter, but about center is where once I get it where I want it, like if it's up on the wall, I might take a little piece of this blue tape and get, you know, position it where I want it, and then I make a hinge with the tape. So, like for instance, I hold on to this here, and then I get it all crooked. Like I have lines, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm a cheater and I make my husband like measure it all out for me. See that? So then all I have to do is line it all up and I don't have to measure anything because because I don't like measuring. So anyways, you make this hinge like so. And I'm just gonna wrap this around the board so it doesn't move once I get it where I want it. And I think I'm pretty good. It's not exact. Actually, I'm gonna have a little crooked so I'm gonna fix it. I'm good there. I'm gonna go up just a little bit on this side. And then we'll reposition, retape it down. Okay, looks good. So again, make your hinge. Then I make a little tape ball. And this works great if you're doing this by yourself and you don't have an extra hand, especially if you're doing like a big wall vinyl or a big vinyl on, on a surface. But I make a, a little tape ball. And then I start on, I usually start on the right, probably because I'm right-handed, but I peel back the application tape from the backing. And as you can see, the vinyl is stuck to the application tape. What I didn't show you is typically I would flip like the vinyl over, oh, this one's kind of messed up, but then I would use a squeegee tool like this to push it down. So I just go across it like this to push it so it's on the app tape or the application tape really well before I do this. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and separate this out. And then I use that tape ball. I push it on there like that. Then I have my handy scissors and I cut this backing away. And then I make sure I don't have any little pieces from the backing on there. And I take this back up and I keep it held up straight like this. And then with this um, paper app tape, I try to leave a little bit of an arch in there when I'm applying and I start right in the center. And I'm not pushing super hard, but I'm pushing firmly and I roll it down onto the surface. And then I give it some swift swipes with my squeegee tool. And you can use a credit card if you don't have this. You can just use a credit card, works great. All right, so then we take off our hinge of tape here. And then I usually do this at an angle so I'm not pulling up the whole piece. And then now all I'm gonna do is start on this side, right up here. You can pull out from down here, but this you have better control if you start up here and separate. It's gonna give me a little fix there. I'm just kinda do it slow. Slow and steady. Make sure there's nothing on there on the surface. And then again, I try to keep an arch in there. This is a little more awkward for me since I'm going the opposite direction, but I just firm and kind of let it slide. And then do your swipes to get it on your surface. And then when you're taking your application tape off, whether it be wall application or a sign application, it's best to do it at a 45 degree angle with your application tape 
if I would just start pulling straight down, greater chance I'm gonna pull that vinyl or lift it when I'm pulling, because you're pulling straight, straight against the vinyl. If you do it in an angle, and you kind of just roll it or slide it, but keep it down like that, usually at a 45 degree angle, it works really well. And if you kind of keep your hands where you're peeling and then go back up, slide. And if any of it should start to come up, you can just push it back down like that or use your, use your tool to do that. Or if you should come to, here I'll show you, if you should come to an edge, let's say, we'll do this one here. Once it pops up, you can't hardly see it. I don't know if you can see it, but like right here, here's an edge. If that would start to come up, I can just kind of crease this and then push it back down. But it's sticking really well to my wood. So it's really tough for me to kind of show that to you. All I can do is kind of tell you about it because it does happen. Depending on your surface and what type of vinyl you're using, this is just wall vinyl. So it's a little bit lighter adhesion, but it still sticks very well. And it will last a long time when you apply it to something. And voila. So that is my little tip for the day on vinyl application. If anybody has any questions, you can always message me on Facebook. Call me at 260-908-1000. Again, at Sherry Bant, Side Your Way Studio, 1343 South Jackson Street, Auburn, Indiana. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.